Hello friends. So in today's session, I'm going to show you uh, how to resolve uh, the connection to the server was refused. So you can see, you can see uh, when I'm running the kubectl get notes command, I'm receiving this error. The connection to the server was refused. Did you specify the right host or port? Okay. So uh, this is a known issue I can say, and uh, there are multiple solutions also available on internet. But in today's session, I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue very quickly. So you have to, uh, you know, uh, do the uh, few steps. If you do, it will resolve very quickly. So let me start now. Okay, so what we have to do, first we have to check the kubelet status. So systemctl status kubelet. So, so you can see when I'm running this command, so some now you can see it's running. But if I run again after some time, it will show the error. It will still uh, fail. So let me run again this command. Because it's uh, refreshing every you know few seconds. So we have to wait. So, so I will show you. So now you can see it's a fail. So you know it's not running properly. Kubelet is not running properly. Sometimes it's running correct, sometimes it's a, it's a failing. Okay, so this is something is an error. So why why it's happening? So you have to check the few things. Okay, here. So first, what you have to check? You have to check the inside your home directory. This file directory is available not dot cube. If available, then you go to the inside this directory and do, then you check that configuration file is available or not. Okay, so you can see it's a conf config file is also available. If directory is available, config file is available, then you have to check the permission like uh, owner and group. So in my case, owner and group is also it's a, correct. So like looks like everything is a, okay now here. Okay, so this all the steps I uploaded on my uh, like GitHub. So I will give the this GitHub link in a description. So you can if you want you can follow that one. Okay. So in my case, like a file is also available, a permission is also, it's there in a place, okay? So let me open. So you can see here, I mentioned that one. If your file is not available, then you have to create that directory, then you have to copy that config file, and then you have to change the permission, okay? So in my case, everything is uh, looks good because file directory is also there, file is also there. Then what I, ha I have to do here? So then you, what you have to do, you have to, cat this file and then you have to check what is a, a like you know a, a parameter inside the this file and the, inside this file you what argument you passing so you can see here a driver equal to i am passing the system okay so it's a, like you know in a some system it, it, it will be system d you have to give or if system D is also not working, then what you have to do, you have to change the C group FS. Okay. So in my case, if system D is also not working, I check with system. This is also not working. Okay. So what I have to do, I have to edit this file. Let me, sorry, let me edit this file. VI. Okay, now let me copy this one, C group FS, and then let me remove the system here. Let me paste, save and exit. So let me cat again this file. So you can see now C group FS is available here. After that, what you have to do, you have to reload the system d so let me demo on system d reload let me copy this one and then let me paste okay now what you have to do you have to restart the service okay now let me check that kubectl is working or not kubectl get nodes so you can see still i am receiving this error okay so in this case, what you have to do, you have to reboot your system, reboot your machine. So let me reboot. Okay. So let me go to the my GitHub. So in Git, in this GitHub, I given the, all the information like how to set up a Kubernetes cluster. So a step by step, I mentioned here. 
okay so i will give this link in a description if you like you know wants to set up your lab you can follow this one and you can easily you can set up okay so, so in a previous section uh, i explained you how to set up the kubernetes cluster in a gcp so this you can see i set up uh, my master worker node 1 worker node 2 okay so i just now i rebooted master node let me connect again So it's connecting now. Let me maximize the size. Yeah, it's connecting. We can wait for one. Yeah, it's connected now. Let me switch to root user here. Okay, now let me run the command. Cube CTL get nodes. So now you can see when I'm running this command, so it is working fine. You can see it's a master node, worker node, not ready, not ready. It's showing, but it's a working fine. Okay. So in this way, you can uh, solve this issue. Okay. So I hope uh, this will be helpful for you. So thanks for your watching. Have a nice day.